Okay, I'm gonna sit there and try explaining a few things. The biggest problem with these 6S rigs is those pop out. The uh, dry lines pop out. And you can clearly see that when it does go up, it pops out the bottom. Everybody's well aware of that. You can see where it's dug into it. And it's usually the passenger side. Same deal on my Outcast. But that one hasn't been it because I fixed a problem. Here's the problem, people. This is an RPM swing arm. Measures out 139.8. Measured three times, there's the average. Here's the stock one. They're the same exact length, but they're saying, well, it's because they're flexible. Yeah, right. They're flexible, all right. Here's the problem, people. This red ring that they put on, now I can't do it, and holding it at the same time. When you have the red ring on there, like that, they measure out to this long. So yeah, going to the stock, or the, the RPM ones, it is shorter. But, if you just take off the ring, it's now the same length as, as the RPM. You don't need to buy RPMs. Stock ones are just fine. In fact, I'd rather have the stock ones because they're more brutal. Thing is, you have to take off the red ring. I have mine on here, but I ground it down. You have to take off a millimeter and a half. You can see the average difference. It's about a millimeter and a half that you've added on with the red ring. Take it off and they're the same. I ground this one down because I wanted the ring on it. I also have aluminum one. I just have it because that was the only thing I had. On my uh, Outcast, as you can see, I do have the RPM one on it, because that was the only one I had. But I also just took off the ring off of this one, and I took off the washers that are stock in here. You don't want them. If you take off here, you got to take off here to keep your wheels same. Same with this one. Washers are gone. The only reason that red one's on there is because I ground plastic, and it was... Not not easy, but I did it anyway. But as you can see on my outcast, I just took it off and called it good. So there's your problem. It's your red ring. It's, you don't have to have the RPM ones if you like flexible, I guess. If you want. But I prefer heavy duty. And that's the end of that. Let me get some one thing also clear too. People think that droop screws are a big solving a problem of things. Well, no, and yes. People think you gotta adjust your droop screws in there. People, you can't just stick in a droop screw and adjust it with the screw. The screw is just a real mild piece that's gonna slip and tear on there. You have to put washers inside the bottom side so that that droop screw can't get pushed in. You can see, I think I got like five or six they're shims, real small. That washer cannot get pushed in. I don't know what I, I don't even know if I did. No, I don't know. I think I tried one on here, but this, this is the one that's done right. So basically what I've done is I've taken a stock one, took off the end, took off the droop screw and put regular washers in there to keep the droop screw in the right place. And problem solved. Anyway, I know the old people will argue with me that I'm wrong. Maybe the new people might see it and go, wow, that old bastard could be right. Anyway, good luck.